friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a do a lesson with me with the new revised Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Level 1. This is the one that just came out in June. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm actually doing two lessons with my daughter Sophie. Um, she actually completed the old level one last year, but I felt like we needed a little bit more work before we moved her to level two. Sophie does have special needs, so kind of bear that in mind as you watch this do a lesson with me. But Sophie has childhood apraxia of speech, which makes phonics extremely hard. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of review work this summer before I move her to level two. Um, just taking in those into consideration, those issues that we have with um, just memorizing the sight words and also with phonics. So this program uses both sight words and phonics. Definitely phonics is, is um, much more heavily used than sight words. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you the program components and then we'll get into the lesson. So this is the course book and we have done, like I said, we have completely done the old course book and there is, um, some of it is definitely the same. So I remember some of the poems and things like that. Um, this is what we're going to be using today. This is the Reading Booster B cards. This is the one that goes with level one, and I'll show you this as well. You have a couple of pages to master um, some beginning sight words that are like kindergarten level, as well as, you know, your short vowel, long vowel sounds, your alphabet, um, recognition of letters, and things like that, capital, lowercase letters, and then you start. And then some of them are sight words. Um, you know, some of these are recognition of sight words, and then but the vast majority of these cards are phonics cards. So for example, this is an AR card. AR says R, and these are words that have the R sound. Um, and ALK and OLD. Um, you have the sneaky E, then reading practice cards. So what happens is when the child masters the card, which means um, they either get it on the first turn or on the second time or however many times it takes for them to master the card, they can get their sticker. So Sophie right now, after our lesson today, because I'm actually filming this intro after we did the lesson, but after Sophie's lesson today, she has mastered cards um, one through nine and also 11, 12, 13, and 15. So she's got um, a few of these words she did not get today on card number 14. And she still has a couple of words that she was not able to sound out and identify on her own with the OR words. So what I usually do is around three or four cards every time we do it. And you could do one card or two cards if you wanted to. But again, this is review for Sophie. So I'm treating it as such. We're doing more than one lesson you know, and that kind of thing. So definitely if you have a first grader and this is their first exposure to this, one lesson a day and one or two of the booster cards would per be perfectly fine. They also have these booster books and it tells you in the cards when you're supposed to do it, but they correspond to the different, um, you know, booster cards that they're learning. So like this one is in the woods and it's dealing with some of the, um, phonic sounds they've learned so far, like the double O, the two different sounds that they've learned for that. Um, so this is, this is how these are used. So you start your lesson off by doing the booster books, boost, or the booster cards, the booster book if the uh, card tells you to do one, and then you do your lesson, and then you have personal or shared reading as part of the lesson, and that can be whatever reading you want to. We have been utilizing the My Second Nature um, reader which this goes along with level one and what's nice about this is they're still tying in the letter sounds so I just use it as we get to it so for example there's site words group one so that goes with the early booster cards and then the AR, A, A L K, and OLD sounds, the sneaky E the EA and OR sounds, the OO sound one, OO sound two. So we just kind of read these stories as we get to it as just additional practice for Sophie. So I feel like all of this working together has been really, really helpful for Sophie. Let me just show you how the lessons are laid out and then we will get into doing the lesson um, for today. 
This is uh, lesson eight, for example. Reading booster card number four, this is what we're going to be dealing with in this lesson, which means they should have mastered that card already. So if not, then you might want to work on the booster cards until you get ready to be able to begin this lesson. But this one's talking about art. Um, this is another example of a lesson here. Sneaky E part two. Um, there's independent work. The lessons are definitely shorter. They're usually two pages long. One of the pages being independent with either some art or some writing, um, matching exercises and things like that. Um, and then the other page is more of the lesson that the parent's going to read. The other thing that they have now added that's really nice is there are videos that go along with the lesson. So if you are familiar with the Good and the Beautiful High School language arts, those classes do have associated videos which are really nice and there are videos in these new lessons as well so this is more of a multimedia approach because you also have a um a letter tiles app that is used sometimes for spelling as well as like when they were doing sneaky e to show the difference that the e makes when you add it to the end so like mad becomes made and that kind of thing so that's another way that technology is used in this new program we're gonna start with Sophie's booster cards. Today we're working on card 10 and 11, and then probably 14 and 15, we'll, we'll start those today. All right, let's look at number 10. So OR says OR, uh, like fort. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what you can read. Mola, colon, bone, bone, bone. Good. 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 Point. Good. Storm. Storm. Very good. So while Sophie and I are continuing to work on the cards, I just wanted to point out that Sophie, with her childhood praxia of speech, the phonics is just not natural to her, and so even though there seem to be patterns on the cards, she doesn't always necessarily pick up on those patterns, that every OR word kind of rhymes and sounds the same. I, E, my, P, I, E, my, P, A, B, I eat my pea and bean with a fork. Very good. You get a sticker for this page. Can I get a sticker for that? Yeah, you got them all right. <coughs> Which one do you want? Hmm. Maybe. Ooh, a sailboat. Okay. Yeah. Now we've moved on to one of the reading booster books that went along with one of the reading booster cards that she was working on on this day. It's nice to see the diversity in some of the new materials. So here you have a multiracial family and they do make it clear that it's a family. I feel like it's nice for Sophie to see books like this. So we're going to do the Letter Tiles app. One, and we are on lesson 19. Yep. Yeah, okay. Eat. So you're going to you're going to spell some words for me, okay? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. The first one is beach. Beach. Sophie really loves the letter tile apps as well as the videos and audio files, but I did want to point out that they're not used in every lesson. Um, on this day, we went through lesson 20, and the letter tiles app was used maybe four or five times in those first 20 lessons. So, if it has a long O, you're going to tell me, and I'll draw a heart for you. Yeah. No. No. O. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, is it long? Uh -huh. Yes, it is. What's this word? fill in the words to make a word. We're either going to use TH or CH. So the or ch. Okay. Ch, like the. So, yeah. Ch. So what would this word be? Ch. Mm hmm So write that and then tell me the word. Then tell you. Mm-hmm. 
What word is that? <laughs> Beach, very good. So Sophie is super happy here because she loves to paint and we always save the painting for last. So when she does her work with a good attitude, then she gets to paint and she really, really loves it. So that's what she's working on now. We finished lesson 19 and 20 on this day, but I only showed lesson 19 and I always let her come back and do the painting what she's done with whatever lessons we're gonna do for the day. Thanks for being here today, friend. Let me know if you have any other ideas or questions or things like that that you have about homeschool. I had some of y'all ask me about homeschooling in high school. As you might know, my oldest daughter, Katie, just graduated from high school as a homeschool student. She is starting college um, in August, and actually she's she did dual enrollment, so she's really not starting. She's just continuing college. Um, but if y'all, I was thinking about doing a Q&A on homeschooling in high school, if you have any questions along those lines or along the lines of homeschooling with special needs or just anything else that you have, go ahead and let me know those questions in the comments below as I think through putting together a Q&A video. But thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.